What's up guys, it's the Bad Scientist out here. Today we're gonna to be making elephant toothpaste for our boy Jorge. Let's meet the crew. First off, do not try this at home. This could end very badly for us. We're going to pour dish soap into the flask to capture the oxygen bubbles. I'm going to pour in 100 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is just water with an extra oxygen. So how harmful could it be, right? In fact, I could probably drink it. It's probably that safe. It, yeah, it looks fine. Alright, that is disgusting. <laughs> Do not drink hydrogen peroxide, kids. That is bad for you. God. Okay, so anything can happen when dish soap and hydrogen peroxide react. So, we're going to want to stand back. Make sure, make sure there's nobody around here that can get injured. Anything can happen. Are you ready? Okay, good. Nothing happened there. We're good. Okay. So now we're going to add the food coloring. What color do you want? Blue, green, or yellow? Um, let's go with red. Yeah. Blue, then. We don't have red. I just said that. We're going to add about 10, 15 drops. Mix it up. Now it's time to add the potassium iodide solution to the flask. This will catalyze the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide and make the big explosion and the big foam. So because of the danger, I'm going to put my gas mask on. We're going to move Jorge away so he doesn't get injured. Jorge, will you hold this food coloring, please? Jorge. 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 <laughs> That's what happens when you don't listen, kids. Run. Now to test the presence of oxygen, we're going to light it on fire and see what happens. You ready? Do not try this at home once again. <laughs> a few moments later. One eternity later. Didn't realize it was so hard to light a match. All right, you want to light a match? No, I don't. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, 
This is the hole that it made. So it did, it did burn away, but it just didn't explode. Because this reaction is exothermic, it was supposed to produce heat, and it did. The foam is actually pretty, pretty warm to the touch. Science. Science work today. So there we have it. That's our reaction. Thank you.